Uh, I've got more immediate ancestors born in Australia for the last 200 years <laughs> than some of the Indigenous, well, you know, vaguely Indigenous activists that we've got to listen to out there yeah. who are, you know, dripping in very expensive jewellery and are telling us that we're the oppressors. Mm. It's quite funny. But Australia didn't conquer anybody. Where, you know, the really amazing thing about Australia is when the Europeans came here, when the British came to Australia, it was the largest gap in civilization ever to take place because the indigenous people of australia the aboriginals were the oldest style of hunter gatherer tribe living anywhere in the mm. world and then they met the modern british who were probably toward the peak of civilization at that time and yet we managed to forge a country almost entirely in peace because we pledged ourselves to peace and unity and there are states in australia where aboriginals had the voting right before women mm. so it's hardly like we have a history of oppression going on here but now they've been rewriting our history so all of a sudden we've got frontier wars we never had frontier wars this stuff is a nonsense um and it's bizarre because my ancestor is actually one of the original sources on indigenous information he was hired by the early south australian government to live with indigenous people and to document them and so i've got original diaries and paintings and i'm just watching a complete fabrication take place where somehow a racial bureaucracy will sort out a drug and sexual abuse problem in a remote community in australia how no one can explain how their logic works it is about power and it is about money and nothing else yep power and money and nothing else. And that ties together all the subjects we've been talking about on this show 